Hello Brights, my name is Leora from Texas and I will be sharing my praise report with you today. Nothing is a coincidence. Today's promise. I will give them a heart to know me, for I am the Lord, and they will be my people, and I will be their God, for they will return to me with their whole heart. Jeremiah chapter 24 verse 7. The Lord sent me a nice little surprise today that let me know that he is definitely hearing my prayers. I usually go to my dad's house a couple of times a week to spend some time there with him and help him with things that he needs done or to just go and pick up his laundry. I was there yesterday, just working on my laptop and spent some time outside with my dad, watching him watering his plants and doing yard work. I really appreciate the time the Lord has given me to enjoy my dad. My brother lives with my dad, but is not usually around most of the time because he is either working, running errands, or just stays in his room watching TV. I was there, and I made myself something to eat, and my brother was already at the table eating, so I joined him. When out of nowhere, he tells me that he went to church this past Sunday after not going at all for a couple of years. I was very excited when he told me, and I told him that that was good, and I just began to talk to him gently about it, not being overbearing or asking too many questions. He began to tell me about the church and where it was and the name of it. I just smiled and told him that it was good that he was going again. We were just having a conversation and then, for some reason, proceeded to talk to me about tithing, which is a big surprise to me. Of course, because he doesn't understand it, he spoke about it as something so wrong and said that he does not like when pastors talk about it. I then told him that tithing was a very important principle that is spoken about in the Bible. He then proceeded to say that 10% was too much to ask for. My heart kind of dropped, but I remember thinking the same thing before I really understood it. I told him that it may seem like a lot, but it is not really because everything is God's anyway, and we are robbing him when we don't do it. He looked at me strangely, and then he asked me if I tithed 10% of my paychecks. I knew what he was thinking because of the way he asked me, that he was going to be able to shame me for not doing it myself. But I then told him that I do tithe 10% of everything I get, not just my paychecks. You should have seen his face. I told him that I've been tithing faithfully for a few years now and that I have never lacked anything. I said that I am not rich financially by any means, but I showed him how the Lord gave me a stay-at-home job during the pandemic, how the Lord uses other people to help me and bless me, and that it is the Lord who has put it in their hearts to do so, and that's how he takes care of us sometimes. Nothing is a coincidence. I told him that I've never lacked anything at all in these last years. He looked at me with a somewhat confused face, but agreed with me. The conversation ended there because someone came in the room, but I am so grateful to my heavenly husband for showing me that it is all a matter of time until my family members go back to him one by one. Before having a relationship with the Lord, I would have pushed and made smart comments and probably pushed my brother away from the Lord instead of closer, thinking I knew everything. I was such a Pharisee. I am so thankful that the Lord keeps working on me because I am a big work in progress. But he is teaching me how to speak to others about him, being gentle and kind and not pushy, reflecting him through me. I will give them a heart to know me, for I am the Lord, and they will be my people, and I will be their God, for they will return to me with their whole heart. Jeremiah chapter 24 verse 7 What do you think? If a man owns a hundred sheep and one of them wanders away, will he not leave the ninety-nine on the hills and go to look for the one that wandered off? And if he finds it, truly I tell you, he is happier about that one sheep than about the ninety-nine that did not wander off. In the same way your Father in heaven 
is not willing that any of these little ones should perish. Matthew chapter 18 verses 12 through 14. They replied, Believe in the Lord Jesus and you will be saved, you and your household. Acts chapter 16 verse 31.